challenged by the Gypsy, Miss Jeannie in tow. He's going up against Turbo Eric Freedom. The announcements have just been made. The Spartan Greg Bobchick, winner of the last quarterfinal. Congratulations. Joins us table side. Stick the headset on and we'll get you to do some commentary. You get to face the winner of this match, so I guess this will be a little bit of a scouting. Wait a minute. The cowboy jumps him and hits him with the whip before the bell. Get your breath, Greg. I know that you just finished the match, and we'll get it started here. And uh, already, the, the bounty hunter has, uh, has got him down. Oh, on the outside! A double axe handle by bounty hunter Cowboy Woody Lee takes down Turbo Eric Freedom, and they're out on the asphalt. Now, oh, oh. Turbo is posted! He definitely felt that, Kurt. Well, Greg, uh, you, you've got two very different competitors here, and as we said uh, in the pairings, you will face the winner of this match. You've got a veteran in the Bounty Hunter and Turbo Eric Freedom, like yourself, a young up-and-coming wrestler, and in his first year in MCW, another post shot. Well, I'll tell you what, Coach Kurt, it looks, it looks like uh, might be pretty good for me here. I don't mind taking out an old guy, but yet the young guy there, he looks like uh, he's uh, in a little trouble here. So if he comes out of it, he's gonna definitely be tired. So that could be to my advantage. All right, the Turbo Man is menaced by the Gypsy on the outside, and they use that as a distracting maneuver to put the boots to Turbo Eric Freedom, and now he's bounced again on the ring apron. They're headed over into the stands! Oh. Into the grandstands. Well, well they've accomplished- bump there, Coach Kirk. They have accomplished just about everything they wanted to. They've, they've jumped this young man before the bell. They've maintained the advantage throughout. And Eric, oh, and he takes a shot from the gypsy oh, as well. what's he doing over there? Coach, what's this guy doing over there? He says he's outside uh, of the ring. That's very evident, but- You know, but, uh, I'm a clean wrestler there. You know, I don't go for that kind of stuff. Well, uh, as, as you know, this guy is the thorn in my side in Motor City Wrestling. And uh, we still- That's one thing, if I take on him, I definitely gotta keep my eyes on that guy right there. No question about it. There's a knee lift by the Bounty Hunter as the Turbo is back in the ring. Fired across to the far turnbuckle. He oh. ducks underneath Bounty Hunter. Ended up hurting himself. And a clothesline sends Woody Lee to the outside. Boy, he, he almost like maintained. Back here. He almost maintained the leverage, but the, yeah, almost the got back over. clothesline was too much. Gypsy now gets his man back up. The Gypsy's already had one man lose here in the quarterfinals to you. Uh huh. And uh, so you already know well, uh, what to face with the Gypsy and, and his tactics at ringside. Uh, a little, Gypsy worries me a little bit, but uh, his uh, the opponents that he uh, manages there, I'm not worried about them at all. Now, oh, oh, the bounty hunter with a crotch shot to the post. Wishbone maneuver. Oh, that had to be tough. Oh, that's hard to come back from there. Yeah, the advantage that Eric Freedom enjoyed was very, very momentary. Eric on the outside now, and really, this man has not had a chance to get a breather. Did you see the gypsy was ready to bash him, and then the referee turned over and saw it, and he pulled the hand back? Well, I'll tell now you what. he gets the shot in with the referee turning his back oh, the other way. I don't like that, Coach Kirk. I'm totally against that. Two against one. One more time. And yet, well, what do you think about that, Coach Kerr? Looks like the bounty hunter wants you in the next huh? round. He's got to get by the opponent in the ring now. I don't know why he's uh, he's worried about the next match. He's got to go with this one. Oh, Turbo reverses it and slingshots bounty hunter outside. Well, see, he did that talking. Now look where he's at. Wasted a little time in there. Now, now you notice the gypsy as soon as his man's in trouble and the turbo turns towards him, he backs off, and then Woody Lee takes a poke. Exactly. Oh, he's got the gypsy on the far side. Eric oh, Freedom up. has got the whip. gypsy on the far, oh, and Woody Lee comes up from behind and nails him. There's a knee lift. It's a team it up again there, Coach Kurt. You know, we were supposed to have, as he runs away from my earshot, a six-man match that developed out of that Fraser show. Uh -huh. He was supposed to have Man Mountain Lancaster on his side, and then Lancaster had a falling out with him, so he lost one partner there. Then Lancaster broke the gypsy's ribs, so he lost himself. Well, you know he definitely deserved that. So he now he come. wants to put the bounty hunters in against me. Well, I'm not going to take that match unless the gypsy is healthy enough, because that's the man I want to face. 
Well, Coach Kurt, you can always, I'll always be on your side. You ain't got to worry about that. Well, I appreciate it, and uh, we do have those mystery partners lined up, and we're not going to tell anybody who they are until the gypsy declares himself healthy and ready to get into the ring. It's funny, earlier this summer he was berating me, saying who were my partners, and now he doesn't have the courage or the fortitude or the ribs to yep. step into the ring. It's just like the gypsy. There's a punch to the midsection as Eric Freedom is trying to battle back in this quarterfinal. We're more than five minutes into it. Five minutes into this, and I think this is the longest match we've had in the quarterfinals so far. Whip off the ropes, oh, that's and nice he's elbow. taken down. Nice reverse elbow by Woody Lee, who climbs up to the second rope, climbs to the third. This isn't WCW. You can come off any rope you want to. The bounty hunter with the fist drop takes him down. The bounty hunter wants him to get up the gypsy, berating him on the outside. Now he's on the apron. The referee's back is turned to this. Woody Lee's bulldog takes him down. Oh. Again, Cowboy Woody Lee menacing Bob Chick on the outside. Gets the talk. cover try. He can talk all he wants, uh, Coach Kirk. Foot on the ropes. Foot on the ropes. There was no count. Freedom now brings him up. Uh, is brought up, I should say. Back to the ring. Off the ropes. Oh, nice elbow by Woody Lee. Takes his man down. Jeannie applauds on the outside. She should be happy. Uh, Woody Lee's controlled almost all of this match. Again, he's going back to the... Oh, he's caught! Eric Freedom slams his man. Oh, beautiful slam. Eric Freedom now, maybe with the first chance he's had to mount some sustained offense as the Cowboy is stunned. The Turbo's got him backed in the corner. There's a few punches. Closed fist claims the Gypsy. I think he's right. I have to give him that one. Yep. Eric Freedom whips Woody Lee to the far buckle. Comes off. Oh! oh beautiful. There you see it. The burrito-type maneuver. And only a two count. A little bit of Tito Santana there. Yeah, it sure was. Eric Freedom climbs to the outside. His man is stunned on the inside from that forearm. The bounty hunter doesn't know where he is. High cross body. Let's see if this will do it. It does. Seven minutes and eight seconds. That's your final quarter finalist. We're going to throw it to a break so we can bring the tag match back. We'll be back with more on Motor City Wrestling. Thanks, Greg. Thank you, Coach. 